el dinero manejando. Ah, en lo malo estoy viviendo. No apoyo a partidos ni tampoco político. No apoyo tampoco a lo que tan es típico. Apoyo a mi colega que sí ha sido mágico. Que quiere contarle a la mamá un ático. Soy de la clase, la clase obrera. Lo que odia porque suben por más que no quiera. Hello from the south of France on a perfect day for football. We're at the Orange Vélodrome. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined for expert analysis by Stuart Robson. And we're always thrilled when a new campaign begins. That's the case here. It is the first match of the new season. It's France against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, they weren't quite good enough last season. So a good start here and three points would do very nicely. I just hope we get an entertaining game though. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays alongside Lucas Hernandez in central defence. Paul Pogba plays with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And just too much elevation on the header. Well, he just can't keep it down, but what a good cross that was. As was the movement in the box. He's unlucky on that occasion. Marquinhos. Now with Hakimi. Mbappé. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. Wijnaldum, superb save from Hugo Lloris. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Well, the clearance half-hearted. And does well to keep it in play. Neymar and a poor ball Nkunku France moving the ball forward what can they do from here get the ball moving again what effect will that goal have on PSG we're going to find out here Wijnaldum Mbappe with it into the advanced position but ultimately up a cul-de-sac Coman A wonderful intervention. Neymar. Mbappe with it. Oh, maybe the equaliser. And it's a goal for Paris Saint-Germain to square this game. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Conte. Here's Mbappe. France looking dangerous here. But really sticking to the task defensively. And he read it well defensively. They might be able to get in now. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Chance to take the lead. And in! Oh yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next?
Mbappe. This could level it. Oh, he's done it. But hang on. Offside is the verdict here. It's not going to stand. Well, you can tell he thought he was onside here. But the assistant, I think, got it absolutely right. Mbappe. Now PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Mbappe. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. So back underway at 3-1. Well nearing the half-time interval, and suffice it to say, they're not making great use of home advantage. Stuart, your assessment? Well, they can certainly play better than this. They've been too slow in possession and not aggressive enough with their closing down. Those two things have to change in the second half if they're to turn this around. Marquinhos now with Hakimi Verratti moving the ball forward with purpose and let's give credit to the defending Kunde. it's with Kingsley Coman Mbappe well, this would help them get back into the game. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Messi. Coman. Applying vigorous pressure. Not out of the woods yet. Able to get his body in the way. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Well, we're highlighting Lionel Messi for a reason. He's asking plenty of questions of the defenders out there, Stuart. Yeah, he's done... Well, back underway, and there can be no denying it. A huge gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from France in the second? Kunde. This is Coman. Paul Pogba. Happy to pass the ball, but remaining patient. Pogba. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Jorginho Wijnaldum. On to Messi. Mbappe. Verratti. Neymar. Now with Messi. Hakimi. Possession changes hands, the interception there. Di Maria. Oh, and couldn't convert. Kunde. Coman. Mbappe, it has to be, top-notch goalkeeping from Keylor Navas. Messi. Wijnaldum, well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick, a special moment for him. 
So the action continues. It's been all PSG so far, and you sense there could be extra punishment dished out. Chance to run at them. It needs an accurate cross. And go on Conte. Mbappe. Really good challenge. Di Maria. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Messi. Nkunku. Diaby. Nkunku. Moussa Diaby. Is it going to be? And the goalkeeper expertly anticipated that through ball. Verratti. This is Sergio Ramos. Mbappe. Mbappe. Neymar. Verratti now. Ramos. Every pass hitting its target. Marquinhos. Wijnaldum now. Hakimi. Jorginho Wijnaldum. Verratti. This is Sergio Ramos. Jorginho Wijnaldum. And a poor ball. Mbappe. And the ball's gone. Well, they've won possession back. What can they do from here? Breaking at pace. Will they profit from this situation? And it might be. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Hakimi. Messi. Here's Mbappe. On to Messi. Mbappe. It is a decent looking attack here. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And a struggle for France to keep the ball. Verratti. Ramos. And just five minutes remaining. Great challenge, he got nothing but ball. Kylian Mbappe, and there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at their best. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Di Maria. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. Able to skip past his man. And well, he was able to make amends. And the final whistle. Three points dropped on opening day. Some might actually call it Groundhog Day, Stuart. Well, that's not a good start.